So, let us compare the next two processors in the series of videos that I keep making to help you make an informed decision whether to buy this processor or that processor. Anyway, this time we have a Skylac processors i5-6500 versus the overclockable i5-6600K. Uh, both of them are quad core processors, there are 4 cores, 4 processor, the number of processor if roughly multiplies to the performance of 1 core, but they do not support hyper threading which makes 10 to 15 percent of performance improvement uh, with each multiplication of the number of threads. Anyway, uh, so, basically it comes down to their clock frequency differences and that is going to make the difference and makes the comparison uh, easier looking at their base clock which is which is it stands at 3.2 gigahertz versus 3.5 gigahertz roughly a 10 percent performance difference and the clock frequency of the max clock frequency is also 300 megahertz different a little less than uh, 10 percent maybe like 8 percent or something. So, that is what the kind of the difference we expect assuming you do not overclock the 660K. If you overclock 660K then you go beyond 10 percent and higher depending upon how much headroom you can get with it. In terms of pricing we have a 40 dollars extra for 6600K um, possibly worth it if you are uh, using overclocking this 660K. If you are not overclocking then maybe 65 can stay with 6500 or maybe even 6600. Uh, another processor is of course, 6400 if you are want to spend even less and instead spend instead on a graphics card. The integrated graphics is about the same HD graphics 530 just a 100 megahertz of a speed bump that also drives 8 to 9 percent higher performance. Uh, those new Skylac processor they started supporting DDR4 one thing that I would like to point um, not that it is different for these two processors, but just uh, something that you would like to know this DDR4 is works at 1.2 volts and that keeps our power consumption lower in terms of performance it does not make much difference as of now because DDR3 is at its peak of mature maturity and DDR4 just started coming out and that just matches the DDR3's peak performance. But in the coming days we expect to see some performance gain with frequency bumps and so on and so forth. So, let us take a look at uh, the benchmark scores for these two processors. Uh, <coughs> So, we have 6600K at 7857 and we have 6500 at <coughs> we, are, we are looking at it 7100. So, 7100 versus 7857 about 700 mark difference or about 10 percent as we predicted earlier. I hope that it helps you in taking an informed decision of buying a right processor for your uh, budget and hope that will help. Thanks for taking a look.